Tonight, President Biden is pledging full support for Israel and $100 million in humanitarian aid for Gaza. Yeah, he visited Israel and met with the prime minister today. ABC's Enos de la Quatera reports from Jerusalem. President Biden arriving in Tel Aviv Wednesday, meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, reaffirming America's support for Israel. We see that support in your steadfast commitment to provide Israel with the tools we need to defend ourselves. Israel has launched a blistering series of retaliatory airstrikes into Gaza after Hamas terrorists slaughtered more than 1,400 people. More than 3,500 Palestinians have been killed in those Israeli attacks. The IDF now poised for a potential ground invasion, continuing to urge residents in Gaza to head south for their safety. We keep praying. Uh, we sleep every night fearing that we will never wake up again. President Biden acknowledging the suffering of the Palestinian people, saying the vast majority are not Hamas. Biden also announcing $100 million in new U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance for both Gaza and the West Bank, including clean water, food, medical care, and other essential needs. Israel saying they will agree to let that aid into southern Gaza. If Hamas diverts or steals the assistance, they will have demonstrated once again that they have no concern for the welfare of the Palestinian people. And it will end. But it's an explosion at Al Ali Baptist Hospital in Gaza that the Palestinian Health Ministry says killed hundreds and has outraged the Arab and Muslim world. The president saying he grieves for the victims at the hospital. Palestinian people are suffering greatly as well. They mourn the loss of innocent Palestinian lives. Palestinian officials claim it was an Israeli airstrike. The IDF is blaming a misfired rocket from another terrorist group, Islamic Jihad. U.S. officials say, based on analysis of overhead imagery, intercepts, and open source information, Israel was not responsible. <laughs> News of that explosion sparking protests throughout the broader Middle East region. Security forces using tear gas and a water cannon as clashes erupted near the U.S. Embassy in Beirut, Lebanon. President Biden had been scheduled to meet with the Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas, the Egyptian president, and the King of Jordan in Jordan. But following that hospital explosion, Abbas canceled the meeting, declaring three days of mourning. In Ezdel Equitera, ABC News, Jerusalem. More Norfolk-based warships are responding to the crisis in Israel. The Pentagon announced the USS Bataan Amphibious Ready Group is being directed to travel to that region. The group includes USS Carter Hall, USS Mesa Verde, up to 2,400 Marines from the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit at Camp Lejeune. The Marines would potentially be tasked with any evacuation of American citizens from Israel, Gaza, or Lebanon, and can also provide medical assistance if needed. The ships deployed from Norfolk on July 10th.